Hi, y'all. I'm back. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm not really that sorry about that. Also, this... Okay, that was scary. That was very scary. This is my new pole dancing studio, and it's very echoey. I'm gonna try to lean into the mic and speak as quietly as possible, but I think you can still hear an echo. You can't say a bitch didn't try. I'm in a pole dancing studio, which means I'm probably gonna do an AMA. In fact, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing an Ask Me Anything. Today, I spontaneously asked my Instagram followers if they could ask me some embarrassing questions about life, love, happiness, and where the hell I've been for the past month. Because it's not like I've been phoning it in for the past month on Demi But Better, but I've just been insanely busy with this other project that I'm doing, which drops literally tomorrow. If you're watching this video on Sunday, which God willing, you're watching this video on Sunday. My show that I've been directing and writing and co-executive producing has finally dropped and aired and that's my slap. Okay. Nothing there, nothing to report there. But see, I've just been a busy goyle. Y'all know me. All right, I think personally AMAs are kind of weird, not to watch, but to stick to because um, uh, I get uncomfortable when I have to talk about myself. I know, I'm a YouTuber. Ugh. So I'm also gonna be teaching some, um, you know, sexy little floor moves. We use them, we call them floor moves in the pole dancing world. Flow is something we call them, floor work. But I'm gonna show you some moves that maybe you can like whip out and make yourself feel good. Let's answer some questions. Yes, I changed the background color. Oh, I like this one a lot, a lot of dimension. So, Ina May 666 wrote, what was the worst thing that you did while at college? I drank a lot in college. Oh, I'll tell you something bad that I did that I highly don't recommend anyone do. Sorry, trigger warning, we're gonna be talking about my eating disorder. If you do think you're struggling with an eating disorder, please seek help. I'll put some links for help in the description box below. Let me tell you, there is another side to eating disorders. I'm living it right now. I had an eating disorder around like freshman to junior, senior year, I had an eating disorder in college. Being new to drinking while also having an eating disorder is just a fun grab bag of mental health treats. So one night I went to this party and I hadn't eaten anything and there they were serving obviously shitty beer, shitty wine and sangria with fruit in it and jello shots. So I was like, perfect, I'll just eat all of the fruit, nom 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 nom, and three jello shots and that's dinner. Your dinner should never consist of fruit that was floating in an alcoholic punch bowl. So yeah, that was the first time I blacked out. And it wasn't the worst thing I've done in college, but it is the best beginning, middle, and end story, I can tell you. Ina, if you really want to know the worst thing, DM me, baby girl, I'll tell you later. Claire A. Cardos asks, weirdest place I've had sex. What's that? That's how she spelled it. Six. Okay, weirdest place I've had six. I gave a blowjob in the back of a New York City cab. So the first move that I'm gonna teach you is on your hands and knees. When you come to your hands and knees, either in yoga or in um, being on your hands and knees on the ground, I don't know what you're doing. You really wanna make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. So from here, let's just get some spinal flexion going on, yeah? Inhale, this is just a cat cow. I'm sure you've done this before. Inhale, look up. Exhale, engage the core. Look at your belly button, right? And you're just starting to introduce a little bit of ripple into your body. So go ahead and start to make little um, circles with your rib cage. Just circling like so. Kind of going from point A to point B, right? Just creating little circles. So let's keep our hips stuck in cement and we're just gonna find some undulations with our shoulders. I want you to imagine that you're carving out the inside of a barrel with a rib cage. Doesn't have to be big, good. Now let's do that with your hips. This is where it gets sexy. Now, let's marry the two, okay? So you're gonna move your hips and you're gonna move your shoulders. You're gonna let one thing kind of bleed into the next, yeah? Simon S. Kelsey writes, is it okay to tell your friend she should leave her shitty boyfriend? Woo! 
girl. I have thoughts and I have come from experience. Okay, here I go. I have had numerous friendships that I have lost because of shitty boyfriends. Not my, sh well, yes, actually some of my shitty boyfriends. I have told my friends too often that their boyfriends are shitty and then they stopped talking to me. So my advice would always be just hover. Hover with a net, hover with a net, keep your mouth shut. Three friendships, three really close friendships. And to be fair, two of those three friendships dumped the guy afterwards. Keep it to yourself, talk to other friends, vent to your mom, talk to your cats, whatever it takes, just be there. Hover, hover with a net. If she asks your opinion, then you can tell her the truth. But if she doesn't ask, unless he's so much of a dick that like he's hurting her or spending her money, hurting her finances. Otherwise, if he's just lame, it's her choice, baby girl. This one's a good one. Lisa or Lissa? Lissa Kogstad wrote, what is one of your embarrassing bad habits? I do this thing where if I meet a stranger and I am pretty certain that I'm not gonna see them ever again in my life, I will just make up shit. I'll just lie to them. I don't know why I do it, it's embarrassing. I've gotten called out before by people being like, didn't you tell me your name was Tony? This situation has blown up in my face more times than I've counted, but yeah, I have a really bad habit of lying to strangers. Now I'm gonna show you a fun way to get up. I'm gonna call this move the rise and shine. I'll show it to you first and then I'll break it down. Okay, how do you feel about that? The rise and shine. First, all you're gonna do is lay on your belly. Oops, we're here. Your hands are gonna come underneath your shoulders beside your body and you're just gonna start to tilt your hips off the ground so you have some space between your pelvis and the floor. Right? After you lift your pelvis off, you're gonna press your body all the way back. So your hips come all the way up, off the ground, followed by your belly, your sternum, your breasts, your chin, your face, your beautiful cheekbones, and your hair. Go ahead and put the pressure right here on your shirt because that's gonna help you slide up. Your skin will most likely get stuck on the ground. If you have big breastuses, that will drag on the ground, that's okay. Your shirt might drag all the way up, that's okay too. It's gonna feel a little messy before you get it under control. Okay, so Brooklyn Macy Juski asked me if I've ever had a pregnancy scare. My good bitch. Girl, I've had like nine. Which one do you wanna know about? Messy, messy, messy. Yes, I've had pregnancy scares. Why you think I'm the face of plan B right now, girl? Oh, is 2022 asked, what was the first time having sex like? I am one of those goyles who had a bad time her first time. Not because of anything non-consensual, like it was definitely consensual. In fact, it was probably too consensual on my part. Let me explain. I overplanned it. I was so excited about losing my virginity that I made a playlist that ended up being very patronizing. This is too much information, but whatever, I'm ready to share. My hymen broke to the soundtrack of Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer. Legit, I felt her snap. Well, maybe I didn't feel her snap, but I felt the most amount of pain during the part where it's like, baby, we make love. Shout out to John Mayer if he's randomly watching this YouTube girl pole dance and AMA. If you are watching this, John Mayer, I'm gonna need to know why. Ooh, Howie73838 I just asked, periods in pole dancing? What about it, Howie? Okay, my spine was not as warmed up as I thought. You can do it now. The secret to uh, pole dancing while on your period is layer up. I'm having a relatively light cycle right now, so that means I can wear my things with a tampon in. You always wanna keep things clean in the crotchal area just because you share that metal. Now we do wipe down the pole with rubbing alcohol like every three spins, but still, just as a common courtesy, that's how you do your period on a pole. I may or may not be stuck. So I'm editing this video right now with my assistant editors. 
And um, I'm realizing that I did not film any kind of button or wrap up thought or like, thanks for watching, bye. But I remember I did that last time with my last AMA. Now it's a tradition. So thank you for watching. I love you. I will see you next week.